talk about this because you're very perceptive when it comes to media manipulation and psyops run on our people. Mm -hmm. And I you know this week so so called the Super Bowl fifty coming up, you know, Cam Newton uh, is gonna be the quarterback for Carolina Panthers versus Peyton Manning. And it's like the media is trying to make this like a race war, like it's Jack Johnson versus Jim or James Jeffries. Again. Because it is, you gotta understand something. <laughs> Cam Newton is the Muhammad Ali of football right now. He's mm -hmm. the Jack Johnson of football. Mm -hmm. Because here's a young black man mm -hmm. who's won every award imaginable in football. Mm -hmm. He's won the Heisman. He's won the national championship. He was the number one pick. He was rookie of the year. Right. He has the best record in the league this year. Closest person to going undefeated in a long time. Mm -hmm. He obviously is going to get the MVP, although they do not want to give it to him. Mm -hmm. They have no choice because Tom Brady doesn't even come close. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's the best football player in the world. And guess what? He's probably top 10 greatest of all time. All right. And by the time he's done, mm -hmm. he probably will be the greatest. He'll never get accolades for that, you understand? But he will be. If he gets that Super Bowl, he will be one of the youngest, if not the youngest, quarterback to ever lead his team to an NFL Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You understand? If he wins that, he is Superman. He's done it all. He's run the whole racket, and he's not even close to 30 years old yet. Wow. So from a white supremacist standpoint, about privilege and domination and control, Cam Newton is living testimony that you are not as great as you think you are. Remember, the quarterback position has always been the position of white privilege. You see, and here's a black young male, 24, 25, who has taken it and reinvented it. He's done more to football than what Michael Jordan did to basketball. They hate him, and he has some racial consciousness about him. You know, I'm gonna ask you this too as well, with the, he, made, he wore some zebra pants recently. <laughs> I didn't week. see it. Yeah, I heard about yeah, it, but I didn't but see I'm it. I'm saying like, people try to say they use him as a, a Trojan horse, so to speak, like with Michael Sam, to introduce the feminization of black. People. I didn't see it, but I would say this. Okay. Um, it's very important that the image of the black male be emasculated mm -hmm. so white folks do not feel a threat, mm -hmm. which is why most alpha male athletes have been made to dress up as women. LeBron James, mm -hmm. Usain Bolt, mm -hmm. uh, Larry Johnson back in the days of the New York Knicks. This is what they do, effeminize the masculinity. It's a way of toning it down. 